Hi, I'm Brianna Motzkus from the Fabric Patch in Efredo, Washington. We're going to start our Color Dance Block of the Month. You can find everything we're talking about today at our website at fabricpatch.net. So the Color Dance quilt that we're going to start is going to be great for if you are are a beginner quilter that maybe you're looking for something to do instead of just sewing blocks together maybe you really haven't made a quilt yet and you're kind of wanting to start or maybe you're a comfortable quilter who quilts all the time and just wants to go back to the basics or do something fun um, with us and sew together so color dance it is a pattern written by wendy shepherd for qt fabrics um, you can only get this through qt fabrics um, or maybe your local quilt shop or you can get this on our website um, we do have quilts um, kits available for you so you'll notice on the pattern that they have a bold colorway and what they call is a shy colorway the bold colorway is very bright. Um, they We put it together with very basics. The same colors that she did for her pattern are the same ones that you have in your kit. So it's very tonal. It's really about the process of the piecing, not necessarily what fabric you're choosing. So that was the bold. Here's the shy. Um, it's still brighter colors, a little more gray tones, a little more subtle um, with kind of a cool, um, kind of a charcoal background. And this one has a navy blue background if you saw that. So you can get your kit from us. It comes with the pattern. A lot of you may have already picked up just your pattern and you want to sew along with us. If you have your pattern and maybe you've been thrumming through it, you've noticed there's some key information missing out of the pattern. And that is what you need. Um, so you will definitely need the pattern to sew along with us because I'm not going to give away all of the pertinent information because um, Wendy deserves to be paid for her work. So most important, fabric. What you're going to need is you're going to need four yards of a background. Whether you want to go dark or light, that is entirely up to you and you will need 16 fat quarters. The reason she did fat quarters is just to make it scrappy. Um, from looking through her pattern, it really looks like she's going to use ample of your fat quarter. You will have leftovers, so if you do have a miscut, you do have extra. And due to the kits that we put together, um, those textures are really easy. If something really goes wrong, you can easily get something that fits in there that's not gonna look strange. Um, if you feel like, oh, I want to do kind of my own thing from my own stash, um, you can pick a bunch of fat quarters from your stash, a, ch a four yard chunk of background, and make your own thing. It does not have to be tonal. You can definitely do prints. Keep in mind the blocks that we're going to learn through the Color Dance series is a lot of half square triangles. So I recommend um, getting your quick quarter ruler. Um, a lot of you might already have this from my infamous Tridazzle video. You guys love this tool, so you might have this. Um, they come in a 12 and a half inch long. <laughs> Lizzie wants me to take her toy. Um, there's a 12 and, a, 12 and a half inch long and there's an 8 inch. Um, if you have the 8 inch, it will work. I prefer the 12 inch because depending on what size half square triangle you're going to use, you might as well be able to cover point to point versus having to scoot your ruler up your square. So quick quarter ruler will come in really handy um, for this series, but we're gonna do a bunch of half square triangles, flying geese units, and some just basic strip piecing. So it's gonna be really fun to put together. I think there's only six different blocks, but they're made in different sizes. So some of our half square triangles are small, and some of them are quite large. The flying geese units, um, some of them are small, some of them are a little larger, and some of them we twirl around a star. So really fun to put together. Um, your quilt, if you go with the four yards and the 16 fat quarters, you're looking at about a 56 by 64. That doesn't have any borders. So if you're wanting to do borders, keep that in mind. Um, I would suggest to do a border of your background and then something cool and bright to finish it off. So if that interests you, maybe get an extra yard of your background or make sure you have a little extra just in case. Um, the four yards does give you extra for any miscuts or incidentals that might happen along our way. But I'm going to have you get started by getting your pattern, get your fabric together, and we'll see you in two weeks and we will start our first piecing lesson. 
Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.